episode 17 today we are doing weekly analysis preparing for next week um on what might happen in the market so in this weekly analysis it's my view because we might have an opportunity either to trade but most of the time when you're doing weekly analysis you do it like an observation because you don't know how even the market will open you don't know if the news will if affect so basically gbp usd we want to do weekly analysis so i will go on the weekly time frame anytime you want to do weekly analysis you just go on the weekly time frame and that's how the market looks like so the market was on an uptrend it's like a reverse or something you can see that market going on an uptrend and then we we reached this high so this is the high of this market and it was on july last year 2023 so for one year the market um has been going down until which month october last year again and then we now we can see the market pulling up so we have never touched the high of last year july and we have not touched the low of last year october so it means we have two lows so if i delete and start again we have a high here and we have a low here. We have our lowest here. So in the new year, 2024, the market has been ranging. Let me tell you, if there's a, a market that is very difficult to trade, is the market that has ranged for more than three months. Anytime the market ranges, like previously, if we were to trade this market, you can see it is easily, you can have a high, a low, a low, a low, low, a low, high, low, 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 high. So you can tell that sellers are in control. So it was very, um, very easy to trade that market. But when you have market since January, you can see this is where we started the month. The month started here. So in the month of January, we had this ranging. And first what they did, they broke above. So breaking here, they made us confused because they had buyers broke out and then sellers now came and broke out uh, below. So the question is, why do they break both sides? So we had a ranging and in the month of March, last month, uh, two months ago, they broke out of, out of this ranging. And then immediately they started to come down and then they have broken out of this ranging and then they have started to come up. So the question is, how can you tell what is really happening in this market? What is really happening in this market? So number one, um, we can see the market was, the buyers were very strong. You can see here is where we saw the breakout from this low. Follow because there's something I'm teaching you. From this law of October 2023, that's where the change of character happened. That's where we came from selling, buying. And you can see that momentum candle, the market really pushed out. So that momentum candle was very huge. So the market broke out and we were calling this a retracement, but it's like sellers are having more power. So the question is, what do you think, guys? Comment down below. What do you think GBP USD wants to do? Because according to according to the chart, either the market will this week, this coming week, the market will sell and come back to this area. Maybe, maybe it will sell and come back to this area, or it will come back to this area. So there's there's that um possibility. Why am I saying it will come to this area? Because buyers left a breakout. We can see here, buyers left a breakout. Don't ignore this breakout. It is very important. And why do we think the market will come to this zone? Because sellers left a breakout. So if there's something that will be difficult to trade is GBP USD because it's like, um, it's like both sides have reason why. So if we don't have any breakage below, we could have said the market will 
buy. But we have the breakage on the support area. The market broke and it broke with two candles. You can see it came out of that breaking. One, two, one, two. And the market above broke. So we are at the center, not knowing what will happen. So this is the zone that the market is currently. That is what the market is currently. So according to the weekly time frame, um, the market next week will be easy. The first week of every month, it's not easy to trade because it, it might consolidate. Mind you, if you notice the candle of next week, starting from Monday, eight, six, all the way, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, to 10th, it will be more consolidating and or if it will break, it will be a momentum breaking out or breaking below because they won't give people chances. Um, these are some of the trades you don't get chances even to trade. So be careful with GBPUSD. From my view, I'm not seeing any opportunity. And that's why um, in that masterclass that I'm teaching on Friday, I told you guys that I have a bonus. I have a bonus strategy that I will be showing you. And that strategy I will share with everyone who will be in that event. If you can't come to physical event, you're not maybe in Kenya, you can still participate in that one day masterclass. And that masterclass, uh, I'm teaching about BW strategy, OPT strategy, and other many other things. It is only $100, 12,000. So if you're watching this video and you want to participate, just pay. I will send you the recording after 10th. If you are in Kenya, you can still pay. So this is to tell you that there's so much information. You know, when I'm coming here on YouTube, I am, I, there's things that I can say because they are from pre premium students. So I am limited even to do the analysis because sometimes I may confuse you all because my strategies, they are interlocked. So if you learn this one strategy, you need to learn the previous strategy. So just pay, just make a point of paying that $100 and I will send you the recording and I'll tell you, I will even give you why I think GBPUSD is the hardest pair to trade this coming week. So all the best, come on that one day masterclass. You're most invited, it's $100. It will be streamed online. It will be recorded if you are not able to attend physically. So if I, if I delete, if I delete my, if I delete my analysis on the, on the daily, this is how daily looks like guys. You can see the breaking is very clear. The breaking below is very clear, but buyers are not able to break any resistance. So you can see how buyers are struggling to break this resistance. You can see all these attempts. And again, you remember me telling you this is a double top that has been, like the market has refused to break. So we can rely on that double top, but the question is, if you try to enter with this double top, let's say they give a bearish anger or they break half, this double top has activated weekly. That's what I'm saying. For now, it is hard to trade. You know what can happen? Because everyone will be looking at this double top, they will come and break. Let's say they will break half on Monday. They can even give a red candle showing you that they have broke. So they can they can bring a, a red candle showing you they have broke. But what you don't understand is that this market is also, the double top is also on the daily. That's what I'm saying. So if you enter with this double top, you will be, you'll be entering wrong because this double top is not OPT. This double top, we can see it perfectly on the weekly. So just assume, this double top is it won't work, guys. It won't work. And if it works, it will it is because it, they have used this as a tree. So we are not no longer using this double top. Kindly don't use that double top. It has been activated on the daily. So what we need to check, guys, here, we just need to check uh the market. Where can it be coming to? So for me, I feel I still believe that the market might be approaching. 2686. So let's go to four hour time frame because we can no longer daily. We were using daily because of this double top. And because it has activated weekly, 
we no longer use it. So when we go to four hour, four hour, we are concentrating with this leg. Avoid everything happened on, you know why I have put that line? Is to help you avoid everything happened here. Because if we keep checking what happened here, we will never trade, avoid, avoid, just ignore. Just ignore everything that happened there. And let's focus on this leg and ask ourselves, what is really happening? So this is the chart that you have on four hour. So we are avoiding every, those are the noise happening on other time frame. So what are we checking? We are checking the market broke this resistance. So we have BOS, buyers are still in control. So the question is, have sellers broken, have sellers broken below? No, they have not. So starting from here, this was our first support, red followed by green. I want you to pay attention. So we have assumed everything. Now we are in four hour and I want to help you what to do on Monday tomorrow. Have, buy, have sellers broken support? No. Have sellers broken that support? No. So, and then support was created. Did they break? A new support was created. Did they break? No. Another support was created. Did they break? No. In fact, this support, the market stayed one and then two, and then uh, they tapped again. So did they break? No. So we can see the support getting broken inside the big zone, but they didn't break. They came here, they didn't break, they didn't break, they didn't break. So if you are looking for sell, sellers were rejected since day one. Like selling this market was not good because sellers were being rejected. So what I want you to pay attention, I want to pay attention on CSB. So you'll come here and wait for CSB, current support break CSB. So I want you to put this line, you can see, observe what the market will do. So if this CSB is broken, if sellers, we have a red candle like that, if we have this red candle, Let's say the market give us this red candle. Sorry for that. So I was saying, we want to see a seller's powerful. So we want to see breakage of that support. So that's what we want to see. There was a the support created, but will they break it? And if they break it, this is this it's still on the, the the market is still on the on this ranging. So as long as the market is on this ranging, don't be quick to sell because they can be they can come to a, a zone and fail to break. So where I want us to start thinking of selling is when the market breaks out of this area. We want the market to break out of this area. So if they are still on this box, you're in trouble. So we won't trade anywhere here. So observe, I want us to observe how GBPUSD will do. And I'll be doing now update this week, coming week, what it has done. So this video is to tell you, be, um, be alert. The market can, can break, can, the, the sellers can, yes, they can break, but still they are in this zone. So for this buying, because we have seen this range, the market has broken out of this range, most probably the market can come to this distance. So the, we can see buyers coming in, but the question is, how do you enter that buy? How do you enter that buy, guys? That is the question. How do you enter this buy? So that is our question. Or how do you enter? You can see the market almost heat and that the reason why we are not even looking for buy is because they almost finished our tp1 which is guaranteed tp2 is not guaranteed so even if you enter this trade buy the question is what is making you to what is making you buy because that rejection is very massive anyway i will update you but we, i want us to see sellers having power or buyers having power either way i just want to see something right now it's hard to tell it is very hard to tell what GBPUSD wants to do. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Remember that masterclass, one day masterclass is only $100.
WhatsApp me. The information is the in the pin location in the I have pinned it. WhatsApp me if you are interested in that one day masterclass is only hundred dollars. All the best, guys. Love you. Bye bye.